the Supreme Court has a lot of work to do to dispel this level of mistrust mm. and, 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 uh, um, and, if you like, mischievous impressions that it has, it has created for itself. I don't think anybody inflicted it on the Supreme Court. Um, I think it is a... Um, um, and perceptions re really matter. Uh, right. Perceptions, in, in this case, matters a lot. Um, I think during the week, the Supreme Court, in fact, the Judiciary um, Council, I think, um, actually issued um, a similar um, questionnaire trying to solicit views of how um, people perceive them, particularly um, stakeholders um, um, see them. And I think, um, for me, it is one way that they are trying to gauge public perception, particularly mm. court users, in order to be able to um, maybe guide themselves going, going into the future. But I think beyond that, beyond soliciting for these information, um, the kind of pronouncements and the kind of decisions that come out um, should resonate with the people. Um, the mood of the people are part of the, the, the considerations that the court um, look up to, um, to to make a decision. And so um, I, if the people are, people are seeing you as being biased, people are seeing you as being... Um, 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 politically aligned with an executive arm of government rather than being with the people, um, I think it, it is really a problem. And it's a problem that ought to be worked, at, worked on. Um, and, and I say this because I'm also taking into consideration the fact that we have had this downturn of mistrust and wrong reputation of the Supreme Court only from the recent years. Mm. That's not to say that in the past maybe there were things were not wrong, but at least those were under current um, mistrust that were not within the public domain. Um, people would talk about, for instance, corruption without necessarily even providing evidence. People would talk about biases without necessarily providing evidence. So there were more um, suspicions and other things. But now it's as though um, it has taken a, cen a center stage, sort of, and it's, it's, it's as if the, the evidence of this has now been put within the public domain, such that Everybody can easily point out to something and say that on the basis of A, B, C, D, I do not think that anything good will come out of this. Mm. And just imagine the kind of people who also come out with similar views. And, and that's what I mentioned, for instance, the former chief justice. This is the whole chief justice. Right. We are not talking about a judge, uh, not a judge. We're not talking about a, a lawyer. We're not talking about a teacher like myself. Mm. We're talking about the person who sat at the apex of this same court telling you that your decisions are too predictable and it creates serious threat within the body politic. It is not healthy for our democracy. And so if you are getting this kind of information from your own folks, and indeed folks that were also at the helm of affairs within the same setup, mm -hmm. I think it should, be, it should be a clarion call for us to take up the pieces and see where we are getting things wrong, and do things the way that would build confidence. Because I keep reminding each of us that the courts are our last resource. When everything else goes wrong, that is where we go for protection. Right. And so if that place becomes endangered, then we are all in a very bigger problem. We are in a problem that we may probably not be able to solve now. Because as for the executive and the judicial, I'm sorry, and the legislature, we know they are all partisan. And we know we voted for them through um, a particular line of reasoning. Right. But the judiciary is not set up for that. It's set up to protect you and I. It's mm. supposed to be the arbiter. Even between these two or multiple political party interests that are probably not in line with our thinking and indeed our um, 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 belief systems and principles. And so if the judiciary is also seen to be tilting towards the same lines that we do not expect them to be, or the line of those that we voted for on political lines, mm -hmm. that is where the biggest challenge is starts from. And that is why we have to stop it before it gets worse. <laughs>